Hello everyone. Good morning. John here. Happy Friday to you all on Friday, November 3rd, 2023. Got a lot of updates today, so please do take notes. We have a copious amount of information and not a lot of time to go through it. Before we get started, if you do like the information that we're sharing, please do like, subscribe, and share. It does help the channel grow and others to benefit with the knowledge that you've been given. With that in mind, uh, we'll start by telling you that silver is moving up very quickly uh, and gradually, so you might be watching that. We posted that in the Telegram channel so you can see the charts moving in the upward and right direction. <clears throat> the green light now with all the pockets of war going in the Middle East has been given for World War III to happen. It's not going to happen, but the threat of it's going to happen to shake up enough uh, things for the economy and the geopolitical events we're looking for to happen. Peace talks will be made, will be taken to the precipice, but as Q said, uh, peace will rule will, will at the end of the day, peace through strength. Talked to a good friend of mine who's a CIO for the Western Division of Charles Schwab, and he informed me last night that they've had over 2,000 layoffs alone just in the company this week has experienced layoffs and more to come. So that's a growing trend that's going to be happening. Um, we are looking for XRP to hit a certain price. I don't know what that price is yet, but it's going to be significantly higher than what it is today. When that happens, that will be another trigger or another foretelling of the reset that we're highly anticipating. Um, President, you, know, you need to take a deep breath with this and not get too hyperbolic. There's going to be a threat that the, the fake news tells that uh, President Trump has been assassinated. It's not true. He was never on the plane. He'll never be on the plane. He's quite insulated, I can assure you. Uh, but they're going to say that he was assassinated. That's going to plummet the markets. Then he's going to come out, whether it's a day, three days, a week later, whatever the case may be, and say, I'm perfectly fine. That was fake news. Much ado about nothing. And then people will be jubilant again. Uh, but you do need to be aware of that. So when that moment comes, remember that you heard it here. You're not going to hear that in too many other places. Uh, the U.S. debt clock is continuing to show comms that the Fed is dead. So I think we can all see that happening. Uh, in D.C., uh, the IRS building is closed and it has sandbags surrounding the perimeter. Shell is preparing to lay off thousands of companies. Uh, the Strait of Hormuz is getting ready to be isolated and closed off possibly as soon as this weekend. When that happens, oil is going to skyrocket to 150 barrel like that. Make sure that you're topping off your tanks regularly and also make sure that you have cash on hand, particularly one and five dollar denominations, because when the cyber attack happens, a lot of stores that you frequent <clears throat> are using computers. They can't get access to them. You're going to need to barter with local mom and pop stores that do take cash and oftentimes they will not be able to break a 20. So make sure that you have plenty of one and five dollar denominations and you'll be just fine. Also, I'd recommend that you get yourself a five gallon tank uh, and get it at Home Depot or anywhere. Fill that up and that will be your emergency reserve in case there are long lines at the gas station. You're well ahead of this. You don't need to be scared. Just be prepared. Johnson & Johnson is filing for Chapter 11 after their talc lawsuits have become so prohibitive. We know the real reason for that, but the talc is the uh, narrative that they're using to go out of business, and this will affect several other big pharma companies as well. Today in the news, this came out about an hour ago, Swiss president makes a sudden decision to step down and resign. So we're going to see the continuation of they are falling in the fall. More presidents, more CEOs of corporations will continue to step down because they know the inevitable writing is on the wall. Um, finally, I uh, want to remind you that the Biden <clears throat> is going to be removed here pretty soon. As Speaker of the House Johnson and the GOP delegates continue to exert pressure on him to resign for malfeasance, uh, ultimately uh, the, the left is going to use uh, the medical illnesses, the narrative, to get him out. When that happens, and we think it could be as soon as the middle of this month, when that happens, uh, you're going to see large amounts of dollars uh, being flooded back to the U.S. from very wealthy foreign nations, like the ones that we're invested in. And that's when we're going to see, start to see some of the bonds and the currencies uh, start to get exchanged. So be on high alert. We are definitely in the zone for things to happen right now. I uh, also want to correct some some misstatements that were put in some of the chats here that uh, that I said 2024, I never give dates or rates. I don't do that. That's what gurus do. That's not what we're here for. We're here to give you factual information and put puzzle pieces together so that you can think logically and make your own conclusions based on real information that's substantive, not speculative or uh, pie in the sky. So I never said 2024. I said we're in the zone right now. It can happen 
it can happen whenever it wants to. There's only five or seven people in the military that know it's going to, when it's going to happen, and they're not talking about it for obvious reasons. So don't move the goalpost that it has to wait till next year. That's not true. Just be prepared and be on high alert because we're, we're in that place right now. Uh, so that's the crux of the information. Please stay tuned to the Telegram channel as we're posting regularly there. Every day, as you can see, the copious amount of information that's coming on a daily basis. Just stay tuned to that. Stay encouraged. Stay prayed up. And just prepare. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your Friday. If anything breaks urgently, I will do another video before next week. Otherwise, I will see you on Tuesday and Friday as customary. And as a reminder, uh, I have a show on Monday with the Venerable David Mahoney and on Wednesday with the wonderfully talented Denise Boland. So I recommend that you stay tuned to those. And I will have a show with Nick Van Ayaman on the 20th of this month as well. So lots of information will continue to roll out. God bless. Have a great rest of your day.